Hi guys and welcome back to Adam's Aquatics. In today's video we're going to be getting some more fish. Um, due to the unforeseen circumstances which I mentioned in my previous video, it won't be particularly the fish that I was looking for, but there will be some really special fish that we're going to be introducing into the fish room today. They are going to be... into this tank here with Kaya. So unfortunately this week Kaya um, killed off Will. Um, she pecked into the point where um, his eye had completely fallen out of his head um, and he was um, like floating here. Uh, I got him out soon enough and I put him in the little hospital tank over there um, and then I salt treated him and I treated him with um, an antifungal uh, and unfortunately he just succumbed to his injuries. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, get the new fish into here, see how they get on. Uh, if they don't get on great then Kai is just going to come out here and go into the display tank um, just because um, she's just really aggressive. Um, as we've seen in previous videos. Um, I'm gonna get some more plants here today as well, just because uh, there's not enough plant cover in here. Um, and I'm gonna get some more dishes. So like dishes for the bottom, so if the new pair of fish, which we're gonna get today, which I won't mention yet, um, lay uh, eggs or have fry and they survive. Um, I think they would work quite well as a trio anyway. Um, you'll find out what they are when uh, I get them back from the fish shop. All right, guys, we're here at the fish shop now. Um, we're gonna go in and get the fish. All right, guys, so we've got the fish now. Time to get them home. All right, guys, so we're home. We're back in the fish room now. Do a little bit of an unboxing. I'll show you what we got from the fish shop. So we got a pair of these blue killifish. Obviously, the male's a lot more colorful than the female. We'll put them straight into the tank, ready to, to acclimate. So they're gonna go in the big display tank. We've got the female of the Epistogramma abiaxis. So this was the fish that we were gonna be getting, but the male obviously came in poor quality. So this is the female. Um, and then when uh, the uh, male and the other female arrive, they'll go into the same tank. They're also gonna go into the uh, display tank. And this is the uh, fish that we actually went for today. These are a pair of uh, black rams, so male and female. Uh, they're gonna be going in with Kaya like I spoke about. So let's just plop them in there. And then you can see them in there now. Obviously this is the male here with the extended uh, fin at the front. There. So uh, we're going to let them acclimate now and then uh, I'll come back once they've acclimated and I'll put them in the tank. It's been about 20, 30 minutes now. Uh, this guy seems to be settling in okay uh, and the female looks very similar here. She stopped swimming. Looks very similar to uh, the lamplight killifish, so I might get a bit confused from time to time, but he definitely doesn't. You can see him look at his colours. Uh, and the female Abiaxis is also in here. Um, she's been hiding like a, around in this mulm and, and near this near this um, Amazon sword. So uh, if I can't catch any video of her now, I'll catch some video of her later. So the black rams are settling in. Um, Kaya is not working out with them, she's too, she's far too aggressive, so uh, I'm going to put her in the hospital tank for now, uh, I'll put her here in there, I'm just waiting for it to heat up, she's currently in this net, uh, just chilling out, so she's going to go over there and see if I can work out a better solution for her, but you can see they're really starting to darken up now, uh, being in the tank on their own, um, I'm not really too sure what I'm going to do with Kaya yet, um, she's going to go over there for now, she might actually go in with the pee buffers, that might work. Um, I'm going to need to slowly turn her temperature down though because she's been sitting at around 29. Uh, for the shop that I got these guys from um, was keeping them at 26, so that's perfect because that means I would be able to remove this heater from this tank because this is obviously the room is heated to around 29 and it keeps the tanks at around 26 degrees. Um, so I'm just slowly lowering the temperature for these guys um, and hopefully they'll do really, uh, be really great breeders for me. They look fantastic. The male, that's the female there male here he comes now he is so dark uh, 
um, so these are um, these are black devils. They're not actually dark knights because dark knights are completely black throughout the body. These guys, obviously, you can still see a bit of their natural coloration throughout their body. So um, hopefully, through some breeding, of, uh, maybe through some of our breeding, we can make them completely black throughout the body, and you can just see the orange fins as you can see here. So these guys, yeah, absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really pleased with them. So we've got Kaya in the hospital tank, she's a bit stressed out, she's just gone to the back of the tank. And this again will not be her final home, it's just for the for the, um, the close future, whilst I work out a final solution for her. But yeah, she should be fine here, this is a um, 20 litre tank, um, shouldn't be an issue. So it's taken her all of like about 10 minutes to settle into this tank and look at the colours on there. All right guys, so we're now gonna try and give them a little bit of food, see if they react to it, and see if they manage to come up at the top of the surface to even to eat, okay? So far we're putting a little bit of baby Brian, and obviously she seems to be taking it quite nicely. Um, we're waiting to see if the male decides if he wants some or not. He's right in the other end, in the right in the other side of the tank, so we'll uh, see what happens. All right guys, so we're over at the black brown tank now. We're about to try and give them a little bit of food, see if they take it okay. So he's down there in the back, as you can see, and trying to get him some food. He's been eating uh, like scavengers and stuff from the bottom of the tank anyway. But we've been trying to specifically try and feed him. So we're going to try again now, uh, try and dump a little bit of food in this side of the tank, which is not where I normally feed from, but um, we're going to try and give it a go now. See, he's just managed to get some food there. The Abbey Axis female has taken um, our residence in that cave, literally the one you can see in front of you. Um, so we're just uh, waiting to see uh, for her, her pair and the other female to arrive, um, and then we'll, they should be able to take over and boss this tank. All right, guys, that's the end of today's video. Um, obviously, I've shown you the new fish that we got in the fish room today. We've got a new pair of killifish. Uh, we've got obviously the black rounds, which is the main bit point of this video. Um, we've got the abiaxis female, which will go with the abiaxis male and female that will arrive not this Tuesday, but the Tuesday after. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I shall see you on Tuesday for another vlog style video where we'll take you through the happenings in and out of the fish room this week. Uh, and I shall obviously endeavour to try and show you everything that's happened. See you next time.